All right, guys. So today's movie is going to be Sausage Party from the year uh, 2016. Listen, if you guys are new here, please like and subscribe. The more that you like this content, the more that I know that you specifically would like to see more of this specific type of content. Okay. Let's go ahead and jump into it. Dude, we slept in again. The song's about to start. Shit, Frank! We can't miss the song. Barry, wake up! What? what? I'm up. I'm up. It's just a super nice way of showing the gods how much we appreciate everything they'll do. Drop the it, gods. Corn! You got the best voice! You're the man, Corn! Do you forevermore? Hold on, so the food worships like humans? Uh. Out there! We'll get to teabag every day at four. What? <laughs> oh, what? What happened? Oh, this is this is gonna be interesting, guys. I can tell you this right now, right now, based off of the introduction, random these, like these random like food objects are, are like cursing. Okay, we're here, right? Um, but not just that, not just that. The tea bags definitely get the tea bag, bro. We'll exterminate What? Here we keep our wieners in our packages. Oh, this is odd, guys. But they're butts. We cannot overstate how complicated we are that our release. This may be the greatest introduction to a movie I have seen in a long time, guys. All right, be fully aware. I've seen a couple of solid ones as of late. This introduction is something special, right? I think it basically, for the most part, is going to tell me how the humor is in this movie. And I can tell you the humor is probably going to be very juvenile and, and you know, but it's going to be absolutely absurd and ridiculous and just wonderful. I'm sure I, I can I can just I feel it. I feel it coming, guys. Right. Three inches deep for Barry, you deformed nerd. <laughs> That's funny. What? Uh, you see, this is why I can't wait for the Great Beyond. Okay, so what I'm guessing is uh, the Great Beyond is just them leaving the store. There's nothing out there for you guys. If you guys think that we're going to be nice to you, we're going to consume you. Absolutely consume you in your entirety. Your essence will be within us. You will be no more. Just so you know, that's exactly what we do and what will happen to you. You weenies. Man, that's super f***ed up about Bill and those guys. I mean, they stayed in their package. They followed all the guidelines of the song. And what did oh, they yeah. get for it? But we're not supposed to understand the will of the gods, Frank. They work in mysterious ways. All day. Er, day. Lined up, waiting to get filled with my meat. Yeah, right, Carl. You really think any of these buns are gonna line up to get filled by you? Um, oh, is he in there yet? Oh, I can't feel him. I don't think he's in there. Oh, wait, he is. I bet you jackrabbit for a quick 15 seconds, like, blah, 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 and then you slump over. Who in this package would ever let Carl get up in them? Huh? I, Roberta, put your fucking hand down. You're ruining my joke. There's plenty of buns out there. Because I believe in monogamy. I'm a monogamist. Monogamy. I believe in monogamy. I love it. But, but it's fine, right? I mean, nothing bad's ever happened from just the tips. No. No, no, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. Wow. I swear to God. Oh, my God. Did you guys fucking hear that? What? <laughs> oh, he's gone. <laughs> I'm so fucked up. Oh, oh, oh. Get right. you the f off of me. Nobody touch me. Attack. Oh, what's up? Yeah, are you pink all the way through? <laughs> Ew. I'm fucking with you, but also serious. Is there a different color of inside? What is that? Like a toilet brush or something, guys? Look at her. She's a fucking temp, bro. The GOD is DTD, dude. Down the douche. Oh, honey mustard. What? No, this can't be happening. Not again. <laughs> oh, Jesus, not to me. Yeah. Oh, get your hands off of me. I mean, what is he? Honey? Is he mustard? It's like, make up your mind or just kill yourself. 
myself. Oh. I can't reach you. This is so dramatic. This is absolutely unnecessarily dramatic, guys. I can't. I, what is happening? Right? So this, the honey mustard escapes and it's just like, bro, I've seen what happens outside of this grocery store, bro. I've seen it. I don't want to experience it. Then he tries to basically unexist himself. All right. And then a hot dog jumps out of the packaging. The hot dog is no longer fresh. But then on the side of the packaging, it says that the hot dogs are 19,000 calories. Guys, what in the, what's happening? Oh my God. <laughs> what? What is this, bro? Bro, who thinks of shit like this? All right, who thinks of this? Whose mind did this come out of? Okay. Oh, no, wait, babe. Wait, please. Hold up. No, no, go. Come on. Like, it's still gonna be there. Wow, bro. Still... Get up. Yeah, definitely not for children, guys. Definitely. This is, this is not for kids, bro. <laughs> oh. Had to do something. I can't, I can't believe you got out of your package for me. You, you would have gone to the great beyond. You'd be there right now. There is no great beyond without you, Frank. Oh. Oh. According to Honey Mustard, there might not be a great beyond at all. Frank, don't control your insolent bun <gasps> and cover her oh. up already. Show some modesty, woman. Oh, hey, hey. Oh, can we all just, you know, calm down a notch, please? Let's, let's try to be, I don't know, amicable. I'm exactly. Sammy Bagel Jr. Uh, you know, <laughs> Sammy Bagel Jr., bro. This sugar and over here. Hot. I am destined to soak up their sweet juices as they dribble down my flaps. Okay. What? Uh, look, guys. Here's what I'm thinking. We hurry back to our aisles. Maybe we sneak into another package and we'll still be fresh enough to get chosen. Okay. Let's um, let's climb to the top of the shelf here and uh, I'll keep my distance. By the way, guys, I, I fully understand the reference that the, that they're trying to pull right here. I'm just not going to point it out. Um, but I, I understand it, guys. All right. I, I get that. The one one guy is from one culture, one very specific religion, and the other guy is from another culture and a very specific religion. Oh, we're here. We're here. Oh. Guys, why do they have tiny gloves? Oh, great. You're leaking all your juice out. Go ahead. Why would a god let okay. you up in a small perfect slice when you can't even squirt? I think you're right. Why would she? Oh, God. There's someone there. Juicius Maximus? What's up, little juicy box? You're leaking too, eh, bro? So cold. Oh. Uh-oh. Light bulb. Yes? I'm gonna deny it, bro. What happened? <laughs> I'm juicing up! <laughs> <laughs> First, you come into our aisle and occupy more and more shelf space. You even have settlements now on the west shelf that you claim as your own. Oh, look, it's not our fault we needed a homeland. The sauerkraut kicked us out of every decent aisle in the store. They tried to send us to the barbecue section for... He is basically, for the most part, telling you the story of World War II here in this very, very specific instance while using food to reference it. We're here. The west shelf. First they come for the bagels, but I don't know. Isn't there room for both of you in your aisle? Ooh, it seems like a pretty big aisle. First they come for the bagels. Oh <gasps> here's Twink and Grits. They call me Mr. Grits. Yeah, Mr. Grits. Yeah, Mr. Whatever. Grits. Mr. Told Grits. Told them about the crackers. Yeah, I told them about the crackers. You don't even want to hear what they did to Mr. Grits over here. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, this is this, this guy. This is deep. All right, this is <laughs> this is this is this this is something interesting, guys. We have something here, guys. We have something here. All right, we have something here. I'm gonna f them crackers right in the crack of they cracker asses. Cracker ass crackers. Well, why were you gonna kill me? All I did was ask. Jeez, what's the big one? <laughs> 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 Oh. 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 I don't know if 
we're going to be able to get through this, guys. Okay. <laughs> we're, we're trying. Which. <laughs> Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait. Hold on. Hold on, bro. <laughs> Calm down. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, guys, hold on, guys. Hold on, guys, hold on, guys. Hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, we're back. We're back. We're back. We're we are we are back. God damn, <laughs> bro! The 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 peace pipe is literally a kazoo, guys. Just keep that in mind. It's a, it's a kazoo. It's this is. Uh, all right, let's get it. Ooh, ooh. This indica. Nah, man, sativa. This is indica. Good shit. Clean high. Oh no, thanks. Grande danger. This is a trap. You must come with me now. <laughs> Del Taco, guys. Del Taco. El Duce. You do not understand, Tequila. Well, that's a pretty confusing sentence, to be honest with you. <laughs> yeah, this is a little weird. Uh, this happens. Ah, bro, come here. Ah, no, it's fine. It's cool. Right. No biggie. Ah, ah, yes, well, way. yeah. Jose's dead, y'all. Ah. madre, puta madre. Uh. Nice. Right in my guac and balls. And the same thing that happened. Guac, guac and balls. Oh, so guac, guac and ball. uh. this way. The coyotes used this tunnel to smuggle some of us out of the aisle. Bruh. <laughs> <It's good> Bruh. <laughs> Okay, I'm super baked, and my friends are probably wondering where the hell I am. Will somebody please just tell me something already? Wait, so you're telling me you wrote the song? I can't take full credit. I wrote the music. The melody came to me one night when I was getting super, super, right. like, f a guy baked. You know what oh. I'm saying? No. Yeah, you know. No, I don't, I don't The song don't had know. a great hook. I don't know what you're saying, bro. Always have. I mean, sorry, hilarious. Who the f do these guys think they are? So basically, what I'm taking from this uh, very specific part here um, is that Firewater is basically like God. He has created this this song, and the song keeps people together. But each aisle, being each very specific different uh, group, right, has changed it to suit their own desires and needs. And uh, there's a aisle that is very reminiscent of. You know, early Germany, you know, the early 1900s, and um, and they just don't like to, they don't like juice, guys, right? Uh, juice is um, apparently not. Oh gosh, guys. Oh, I really needed that douche. Holy oh, shit! We're actually here. Oh, Come my on, God. Barry, you're missing him, man. Frank needed my help, but I wasn't there for him. For all the times he stood up for me, you know, he. I'm such a fearful coward. Bro, no chance Frank is coming back, bro. No no chance you're gonna see him again. Yeah. Jada, way to go, buddy! That's my guy! Be beat by the hands of a god! Oh, Jesus! Oh, kill me, skin! She's feeling me f***ing skin! <laughs> this is like Toy Story with food, guys. Absolutely Toy Story with food. Jump on the count of three. One. Carl. Oh, Barbara. Bar Bar Bar. What are you saying, Carl? Oh, Carl. What are they doing, to me, Carl? <laughs> Carl? What in the? Uh, what in the? Oh. Hell? First, I fall out of the card. Then I lose Frank, and now I'm being hunted by a douche. Bro. I never thought about it like that, but I love the concept of it. Right, like, like for example, okay. <laughs> no, I don't love the con. This was that was weird, okay. That was absolutely unfortunate, okay. It kind of makes me not want to eat food again ever because of just the level of like, wow. <laughs> Can you imagine if that was a real thing that was going on? But again, who thinks of things like this? I want to know, right? 
I'm uncomfortable, bro. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I, I guess I kind of see myself in you too. I mean, look at- Cause you, you kind of are the same kind of thing. You guys are like vehicles for other things. A sausage. Sir, sir, I'm sorry to wake you. I'm a fellow sausage oh, in distress. Bro. My name's Barry, it's a pleasure to meet you. What's your name? That's not a sausage, bro. I'm just stop, but they, ah. they just wouldn't. First they oh. tried to stretch me till oh. it hurt. Oh! Then they went inside me and then oh! And then, oh! 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 Look at me! Oh. Look at me! No! No! <laughs> no! I don't want to look I, at you. I feel oh. wrong. I was wrong before. You know there is a great beyond without you, and I'm gonna go there and fill myself with something else. Oh! You don't mean that. Yes, I do. I'll fill myself with a parsnip or a dill pickle, maybe even a dill pickle. A dill pickle. An eggplant. You couldn't an fit egg an eggplant plant. in there. It's too big. It'll tear you in half. Oh, you'd be amazed what I could fit in here. <laughs> oh. oh, 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 oh. <laughs> what? You just broke the fourth wall, bro. I'm tweaking. Whoa, 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 dude, dude, dude. Just take these. Just breathe, dude. Just breathe. You're not tweaking. You're just peeking, man. Just be with me. And there's one more thing you're gonna do. Take me home. You got it. Teresa, you've done as much as you promised. You got me back to my aisle safely. I really can't thank you enough. Look, Brenda. I'm going to come clean. I have feelings for you, I can't deny. I'm really sorry. I'll never forget you. Hola, Teresa. Hola means hello. Oh. <coughs> so <we> goodbye? <laughs> what? Goodbye? Exactly. <laughs> what? Guys. <sighs> what are you doing? The human is no longer aware of the fourth dimension. Oh god! Ah! Ah! Oh no! It can't end like this! I have to warn Frank! No! 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 Well, that was unfortunate, wasn't it? Ugh. The Dark Isle. They need to know how wrong they all are before it's too late. Uh huh. Show everyone. Show everyone right now. Crush their dreams. What are you doing out of yep. package? That's about how it works in real life. It's almost red, white, and blue day. Lend me your ears uh, of corn. <laughs> I am Frank. And, and I am a sausage. I know you don't want to believe it, but I have proof. <laughs> what is this? We can run. I can't run. I'll melt. What this sausage is saying, it's just a uh, theory. And that's exactly what would happen. I think in the earlier, uh, the earlier parts of the movie itself, they said something about how you need proof for, for your God, right? Um, he shows people proof that that what they believe is absolutely false, but it doesn't matter because it's so ingrained in them that they cannot now physically accept it. Uh, similar to what Firewater said. What's interesting is that this, the movie is ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous, but the messaging of the movie is not that far off from like being way deeper than it actually needs to be. I find it interesting and, and very intriguing. Hey. Does it mean it's too late to redeem yourself? Barry. What? Barry? Hold on. How did Barry get back? All right. Multiple explanations are needed, unless he's like some type of like aberration or something. How did he get back? No. no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. Please. Let's continue. No. Oh. Whoa. No. But why'd you bring his head, though? You know, when you guys fell out of that... Like, it's like, well... Why? For, um, maybe for proof. 
for it. I, I could have done something, but I didn't. Oh, Whew. no. Kind of stuffy in here. Hey, girls. So I'm just going to... Whoa. Uh, what is uh, happening? You've been injected with salt. What? Well, I get it. I get, you know, hey, listen. <laughs> and, I, and I acted like I had all the answers, but I don't. You did. Nobody knows everything. But what I That's why you just let people do what they want to do. If you think that the way they're living their life is wrong, what right do you have to tell them that, really? Or even try to stop them or, or change their mind. Let them live their ignorant life. Seriously. You think it's ignorant. I get it. Let them do what they're doing, bro. It's not affecting you negatively, right? Oh, so now you're going to come at me, bro? Oh, I'm coming at you. Yeah! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> ow, ow. Okay, we got him. <laughs> Easy now. Easy. <laughs> that was... Guys, guys, that was the oddest thing I've ever seen in my entire life, right? I don't think I want to see that again. I'm just going to be honest. I don't even know how to respond coherently to it. I just know that I sat through that, for the most part, shocked and just utterly confused what we were encountering. Um, yeah. <laughs> like, uh, yeah. Uh, what do we do with this information? Nothing, guys. I learned nothing from that scene. Just that it, that I don't want to see ever see anything like that again. Okay? Never. It's amazing. I was okay, but you were amazing. Seriously, though, your recovery time is off the charts. Guys, oh my God. You have to come with me right now. That was just like Hello a there, free for all of just You and your oddities. friends have accomplished the impossible. Cartoons. <gasps> what? You, Frank, were the plate. And another fourth wall break. ...of a demented, schlubby Jewish actor named Seth Rogan. I have invented a Stargate device that... Ooh, we got some Stargate references also? What? What? Oh. Okay, hold on. I was not ready for the Stargate references, guys. I'm just going to be honest. I wasn't ready for it. Didn't know this was going to happen. And I, I appreciate any reference to anything Chapa Eye related, uh, anything Stargate SG-1 related, Atlantis, Universe, Origins, any of the movies. Um, I am an absolute... Okay, hold on. Didn't expect that, guys. All right. Um... I am a fanboy, okay? Anything Stargate related. If you guys didn't know that, you guys know now. Um, Stargate is the best thing that has ever existed. And if you say that it, it's not, then you're wrong, okay? You're wrong. If you have any argument, you're wrong. Anyway, we're gonna go to this other dimension and cut the string. But the Stargate doesn't actually take you to another dimension, bro. All right? That's weird to actually encounter. The Stargate will take you within our dimension, but to another location where there's another uh, uh, Chapa Eye. All right, let's just let's just be fully aware of the Gate of the Gods. All right, it does not take you to another dimension. That's weird. <laughs> also, similar music is being played. They're definitely, like somewhat of an Easter egg in terms of um, Stargate. All right. Well, didn't expect none of that. Honestly, one of the oddest movies I've ever seen in my entire life, I will say. So I found this movie to be somewhat of an religious experience. Overall, my thoughts kind of circle around the main plot of the movie itself being obviously the ending. Honestly, when the food found out that their only purpose to exist was to be consumed and eaten by the gods and, and we are the gods, that was an interesting premise. Uh, very shocking, did not really, I kind of expected kind of that because obviously we we consume food and the food thinks that by leaving the store, they're going to be going to the great beyond when in all actuality, they're just going to be processed within our bodies. For a movie to make me feel such like a, a raw emotion is absolutely incredible, guys. This movie was made to make you understand the importance 
of, of living, I think, right? The, uh, like, what is life to you or I or some other being? Like, what is life to everything that has the ability to breathe, reproduce, um, eat, live, right? Like, what is life to every living thing? So for me, this movie is absolutely a timeless classic, just based off of all of the the ranges of emotions, the ideas um, presented, the, the deep thought ideas presented within the movie itself, just culminate in this glorious thing that we just encountered here, right? Um, while giving humor, yes, the humor is very childish, right? Um, but I think that was, that's what sold the movie to me in the first place, as we're in going through it, right? Um, absolutely hilarious. A lot of real laughs, guys. This was this was wild. Would I suggest this movie, though? Absolutely. Um, I would say if you have the ability to, to look outside of yourself, right? See the world for kind of what it is. See religion for what it is. And just see how people move. I think you'd like this movie. Honestly, I, I can tell you right now, I think you would love this movie. But um, there's a lot of stupidity, though. Okay, there's just, there's just I'm not going to lie, guys. There's a lot. There's a lot of it. And it's just like, bro, what is some of this stuff? It doesn't make any sense. But it does make sense on the grander scheme. But while you're in it, it's just like, bro, this is too much. The end scene was unnecessary. Okay? All of these things copulating just... It honestly gave me nothing. It gave me nothing. There's nothing that I needed to know about that exact scene. All right. It, it just was there as like, it's like added shock value. They all, everyone comes together as one unit to vanquish the gods. To quote Killer Mike, obviously. Your masters, right? Um, that's just what it is, guys. The movie's solid. No, not a single complaint I can give towards it. I think the animation style was great also. Um, with that, I doubt it's going to go down as one of my favorite movies I've seen. Um, just pretty much based off of the deep thought, but yet it was, it, it's given to you in such a package that is odd and uncomfortable at times. Very uncomfortable at times, okay? But all right, listen, let me know in the comments on the next thing I should be checking out. And I will get into that as soon as I possibly can. We do we do a new movie every single Sunday, right? But all right, catch you guys later. You guys all have an absolutely amazing day and enjoy it thoroughly.